Welcome to my channel. You are in the playlist of RP tools. In this video, we'll be handling token tools. So here we have the website of RP tools. Now, RP tools is free to use. Um, they've got several tools. You can have a look here. Map tools where uh, everyone is using this virtual tabletop to play their uh, games. We've got token tools to create tokens to be used in map tools. And you've got several others. Now the programmers of RP Tools are really friendly, really supportive people. Uh, they've created a Discord server. These guys, they deserve your support. So if you're using MapTool, uh, please donate. They've created this amazing tool that we're using in our pastime to play the amazing game that is Roleplay. RP Tools also has a forum so you can go on to the forums here is the link and there's a lot of things going on here for different games forums for all the kinds of tools that are out there come and check it out join the discord server test map tool there is a learning curve yes but the possibilities are endless So let's go to the downloads folder here. You've got the map tool for Windows, for Mac, for Linux, for Java. So I'm on a Mac. I'll be downloading the DMG for token tool. Now we double click on the DMG. We of course agree. So it's really quick. Um, map tools, token tool, uh, very easy to use, very user-friendly programs. So I'm dragging the token tools onto my desktop and let's open it up. So here's the token tool um, user interface. We've got on top right here the save options where I'll be making an org. So I can put org here or a different name if I want to. I can use file numbering. Uh, I can add other stuff on the name. There's some background options. So I've got the transparency on. You can uh, use a different um, background. This could be handy as I'll show you later. You've got some portrait options. I'll show that as well. And the overlays. So these will be the tokens that are visible around our images. So let's drag in the orc. It's a, just a drag and drop, very easy. And here on top, on the right hand side, you see how it will look if I'll save the file. Now, personally, I really like this uh, way of showing the orc. But let's see what else we can do. So I'm scrolling and I can show the whole image or maybe even just show this. But let's scroll back and see if I go way back, you can see the edges showing right here. So if I go to the background options, I could select dark. So the blackness will fill in here and it will be less obvious. Now for this image, it's really difficult, but some images have a black background and then it just seamlessly matches. I could of course go and try to to match it, have a custom color even, uh, a full range. Um, I usually don't need to do this, but if you need to do this, you know where it is. So let me scroll back. So this is my image. This is how it's going to look like. What kind of options do I have? I can do the opacity. So that's my image. I can get, give it a little blur, which could be handy for some images. I can make a glow. So the glow will actually make it a little bit brighter. I'll go all the way. I won't be using these at the moment. I can change my portrait. I can remove it. Now, why would you remove your portrait image? Well, there's also layers and it's possible that you've stacked certain images 
on top of each other and and you don't know how to get out of it then you take the the layer you you need for example you've got the background layer then here there is a way to remove the background you go to the portrait layer and there is in portrait options a way to remove it then we have the overlay options so this is where it's all about you've got all these tokens installed you've got all these you've got some squares see there's loads of standards all default installed you've got some cards so I could use a card so let's see for this card the card is in front of the image but I can send it to back and now it's behind the image let me scroll move it about a little bit and then you have something like this or maybe this we have round ones so here's there's a lot of subcategories you've got the bottle caps chains some nice decorations a little bit of Star Trek maybe Star Wars options right here some gears runes and smooth tokens there's a lot of smooth tokens there's quite a few right here so let's say I want a um, a red one maybe this one very bright and red let's scroll let's turn off the send to back so now we can see the token we can see it on top as well let's scroll and voila this is my token I can save this Give it a name, Orc, my desktop. It'll be a PNG because the PNG will make your image transparent. A JPEG will make all this area white and then you can't really use it that well in your map tool. But now we can use it and we'll use it later in a different video. Now there's something more I can show you here. The programmers of Token Tool have made it really easy for us to customize this tool. And that's really nice. Usually software tools are the code is behind bars. You, you can't really see the folders or do anything customization wise. Uh, but the amazing programmers of RP Tools have given us that option. So we'll go to users. Uh, so I'll go to the user I'm in now. And I want to go into the library. Now it's not visible. And there's a hidden file we, we need to access. To access these hidden files, I need to open up my terminal. So let's open up terminal. And there's this code I've um, copied from the internet. And it says here that I need to copy this with yes being actually the command I need. Oops. And it's done. Now I can't really see the hidden files because I have to relaunch my finder. So with the option key and a right click I will see relaunch right here so I'll relaunch and the magic has happened I can see hidden files and here is the token tool folder let's get into it there's overlays and now I've created a map already I'll, I'll do that again so I'll create a folder here. I'll name it my own. And what I can do now is 
so I can see all the categories that are listed right here see the, the round ones and the cards and come to think of it let's not use my own let's call it test so let's go into round I'll open it up in a new tab and let's go into decorate it and let's say I want for my personal category I just want this one and maybe this one I copy it uh, I'll put it into test and then in round ones um, smooth maybe I want I'll just pick a few I just want these and maybe I'll rename these for example um, this could be like undead for undead creatures maybe this one could be for constructs constructs so I made my own category so it's right here I'll change the name into capitals so test but I can't really see it I have to relaunch token tool so let's quit it let's relaunch uh, token tool and lo and behold here is the category test and test has all the tokens that I've selected and if I click it on top here says undead so that's what I did I created uh, undead and this one was construct and I can see here it's construct so there's a consistency in the tokens I use now the programmers have given us the recent category which will show us a few things just here in the bottom but when I'm experimenting, it'll, it will write over the oldest one um, and I might forget. So that's why I create this little folder here. So at all times I have the different categories that I'm using. So that's really handy. Now the only thing I need to do is hide all the hidden files again. Easily done. I copy this, I paste it and I change yes to no. And that's it, they'll be all gone once I've relaunched my finder. And I'll do that now. So that's the option key, right click, launch. All the hidden files have gone on my desktop. So it worked. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message. I always respond. Come and check out my Twitter account where I'm, I'm fairly active, uh, keeping you uh, up to date, posting some nice roleplay uh, tips, maybe a laugh or two. And you can also follow my campaign over there where I will be posting all my uh, logbooks of every session. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy gaming.